So in this session, we're going to be looking at how we extract some summary information from our data set. In particular, we're going to focus initially on how we extract the mean associated with one or more of the variables in our data set. So we'll begin by uh, starting up an R session. So we're going to create a new project as per usual. So new project, new directory. We're going to call it um, data summary, for example. So we'll just create that new project. It will restart our R session. So as with the workshop on data wrangling, we're going to be using the MPG data set. So remember this is the data set that contains information about cars. I think it's from 1999 to 2008, data collected in the US. The MPG data set is part of the tidyverse. So we can simply load the tidyverse to get that data set. Um, let's save our script so that we're uh, keeping track of where we are. So data summary is the name of the script, I'm going to call it. Saving that now. Okay. So if you remember, the MPG data set has got information in it about a whole bunch of cars, uh, manufacturer, model type, etc., etc. Uh, for our purposes, we're kind of interested in some of these fuel economy numbers over here. So imagine the first thing we want to do is to work out for each car manufacturer the average fuel economy on the highway. So we're going to take our data frame and then we're going to pipe it through and we're actually going to use a new function. We're going to group our data frame and we're going to group the data frame by manufacturer so that the operations that occur after this grouping occur for each, oh, just see I've got a typo there. Uh, the operations that occur after this grouping will occur for each of those uh, groups. So we're going to use a function called summarize uh, and we're going to ask for, we're going to create a new column called mean highway and that's going to be equal to the mean of the highway column in our data set. You can see the highway column down here is highway fuel economy. Let's also work out the standard deviation for that column. So let's find out a little bit of information about variability associated with that variable. And we're also going to work out the number of cases, uh, you know, the number of, uh, you know, cases of each car manufacturer that go into generating these statistics using the n function. So if we run this bit of code here, in the output, we see we've got information about car manufacturer, the average fuel economy in the highway, the standard deviation of fuel economy in the highway, and the number of cases, number of instances of each manufacturer that actually go into generating those summary statistics. So that's pretty useful. Um, as you can see, the output is ordered simply alphabetically, which is probably okay for a small data set like this. But if you've got a large data set, you actually might be interested in having the output organized, say from worst fuel economy, worst average fuel economy to best, or vice versa. And we can actually do that by adding an extra little instruction up in our script. Rather than displaying the output, we can actually pipe it through to the arrange function, and we can ask for the output then to be arranged on the basis of mean highway. So if we run that bit of code now, you'll see down here, we don't have things ordered alphabetically anymore, but rather on the basis of low to high fuel economy, okay? Uh, perhaps we want the order reversed. We can simply put in a little minus sign on line six there, rerun that bit of code. We see the output is now ordered with a uh, manufacturer with the best fuel economy, which is Honda, down to manufacturer with the worst fuel economy, which is Land Rover. So it's pretty handy getting it in that sort of output. And this looks a lot better. So related to the summary function are two other functions, two other variants of that function, called summarize at and summarize if. So summarize at is quite useful because it can apply the same uh, uh, function, you know, say main, it can apply that over multiple columns at the same time. So let's just look at an example. So the same data frame, MPG, we're going to group by manufacturer again, and then we're going to use the summarize at function, and we're going to summarize across 
And we're going to summarize across three columns we're interested in. Interested working at the averages for displacement, city fuel economy, and highway fuel economy. So we're going to summarize across those three columns. We're going to ask for the mean to be calculated. And we're also going to say, ignore any missing data. I don't think there is any missing data, but I just want to introduce you to this little parameter here. na.rm equals true, which basically means remove or ignore any missing data in the data frame. And it's really, really helpful because if our uh, discovers there's any missing data in, it, in your data frame, it'll typically stop because it's not going to decide for you what, you, what, it, what it should do with it. So you need to explicitly say, so in this case, we're saying just remove missing data points. So if we run this bit of code now, we can see that the mean has been calculated across these three columns separately, grouped by each car manufacturer. So summarize that is a pretty good function if you're wanting to apply uh, the same uh, statistical functions such as the main standard deviation or whatever across a whole bunch of columns simultaneously. Related to the summarize at variant, uh, there is the summarize if variant. So imagine if we had a really big data set and we want to summarize all columns that are of a certain type, maybe all columns that are numbers, rather than type out all of those column names, we can simply say that we want the mean to be calculated if a column is of type numeric. In other words, if it's a number. So we're going to use the summarize if function to do that. So we're going to take our data frame, MPG. We're going to group by manufacturer again. We're going to say summarize if, and then is dot numeric mean and then na.rm equals true. So basically this is going to summarize any column that it finds in our MPG dataset that's numeric. And if we do that, we see in the output down here, we've got displacement, year, cylinder, city fuel economy, and highway fuel economy, all averaged. So the summarize if uh, variant is a really good function for doing that. Sometimes we might actually want to add new columns to our data frame based on this sort of um, aggregation using these summary statistics. Well, what we can do is use a function that we looked at last time, which is the function mutate. And we can use that to create a new column. So our data frame, MPG, and then we're going to group by manufacturer. And then we're going to mutate such that a new column that I'm calling, going to call it mean HWY is equal to the mean of the highway column. And I'm going to ask for the standard deviation as well. So I'm going to create a new column called SD underscore HWY. And that's going to equal the standard deviation of the highway uh, column. Okay, so just make sure I've got all my brackets closed. Run that, oops, run that. Why did I not like that? Because, um, let's see. Oh, typo, that's why. I'm not wearing my reading glasses. Okay, run that, there we go. So we've now got these two new columns created, mean highway and the standard deviation highway. And for Audis, obviously it's all the same, okay? So we've actually got a really nice uh, sort of um, workflow here where we're grouping, we're working at averages, and we're adding new columns that capture those averages. But our data frame's getting a bit large. Maybe there are too many columns, so we can actually drop some columns, and we're going to drop columns using the select function. In the data wrangling workshop, we used the select, select function to, not surprisingly, select certain columns. We can actually put a minus sign behind columns that we actually then want to drop. So you can think of this as being deselecting. So I'm going to drop the class and transmission columns. I'm going to run this code. We see that we've now got a narrower data frame where we've dropped two columns that were up here. Uh, transmission and class now don't appear in the new output. So we've used uh, that to drop those two columns. So, so far what we have is we've taken our data frame, we've done stuff with it, but what we haven't done 
is mapped on to a new variable. In other words, we haven't kind of saved it. So you never want to be changing or modifying your original data set, but you might want to create a, a new variable name associated with your wrangled and tidy data set. So I'm just going to call create a new variable called mpg with mean, and I'm going to map onto that the result of our operation here. So I've created a new variable called mpg with mean. I can click on it up here. And you can see this is my data set with the two new columns, mean highway, standard deviation of highway, now added. So that's quite useful. And we can actually just inspect that variable down here, as we do with any variable, mpg with mean, say. And then we get the first six rows of that uh, new variable we created, um, mpg with mean. We can ask for the structure. And we get the same sort of information coming out. We're given information including the two new columns, mean highway and SD highway. So we can see up here, we haven't saved our script. So that's just to control S or command S to save it. You can see it's saved down here. The time has updated. So what I want you to do now is kind of work through the worksheet, right? Recreating what I've just done. And then I've got a little challenge for you where I want you to work with the Star Wars built-in data set and to work out some summary statistics associated with the Star Wars data set that's part of the, part of the Tidyverse 2.